Why are <clears throat> Europeans so much better at American accents than we are at doing? We, we sound comical when we try to do your accent. Oh, God, it's a room for actors. I don't, I don't I'm know. sure everyone in here has a wonderful <laughs> Irish accent, but for those that don't, why? I don't know the answer to that question. Genuinely, I, I don't. I, um, I just, uh, I just do, do my best. Yeah. Yeah. Someone said you watch a lot of American TV. Well, we do as yeah. kids. Like uh, when in when in Ireland, when we were like when I was little, we had we had a you know um, like uh, the Irish TV stations. But they wouldn't import any British shows. Really? Yeah, for <laughs> obvious reasons. <laughs> um, so they would import a lot of American shows. So Sorry. we'd watch a lot of like I watched like you know like. The A Team and Chips and MacGyver really? and like all those shows. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. The a you were an A Team fan? Yeah. Oh, I had yeah. the biggest crush on uh, Murdoch. I mean, yeah, that's he a was good the role. That's a that good was one. the role. Do you Everybody... have a picture of him? <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, <laughs> I have a dentist that looks just like <laughs> Dwight Schultz. No. <laughs> um, you know, you learned so much in your research. Was there anything that, that, even if it didn't make it its way overtly into the film, that really surprised you or informed you about who this person was? Um, yeah, th I can ask that as well. Uh, like, what I, what I found, f like, really revealing and illuminating, and the most, above all, thing that I used most was that he was really intensely human. And he was as flawed and as messed up and as contradictory uh, as we all are. Uh, and you know, and and that's what I wanted to bring to him was the humanity of, of the man, not just the the iconography and the genius and all of that, which you get that for free really mm -hmm. with the hat and the silhouette. But that he was like, but that he wa he was that kind of flawed, and he was that kind of that kind of twisted inside about what he was trying to do or not do, and he was living through the, the greatest dilemmas that the world has ever faced, and and yet. He was still a human being, you know, and he had this, he had relationships and he had children and he, he you know, he, he, he experienced the world like we experienced it, but just through this kind of different prism. So when I kind of, when that, when that was, uh, when I re realized that, it all became less daunting, mm -hmm. I think, you know. Uh, it's so interesting to me because I didn't realize really how life and death the stakes were. I mean, not just for him, but for the universe. You know, and that, maybe that sounds naive, but I kind of, you know, because it's it's so far back in my history, yeah. I didn't realize that they literally thought this could destroy the world. I think that was the in for, yeah. for Chris when he was writing the script, was that they thought when they pressed the button in 45 in the desert that the whole world would would disappear. Like, yeah. that they actually, they were, the, that was the stakes, and I think that was the kernel of the whole of, it, of him figuring out how to, how to tell the story and make the movie, yeah. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. And I know how it turned out, but I'm watching the movie and I'm like, yeah. oh God, I hope we don't get vaporized. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, as I said, you're, you're in pretty much every scene playing this iconic figure over the course of decades. Um, can you talk about um, how you paced yourself, but you also kept track of where you were in the story? I don't know if you shot certain sections in, in chunks. I'm, I'm hoping that you weren't doing, you know, two different time periods in one day, but maybe you were? I mean, we shot the film in 57 days, so it was... Wow, I didn't realize it was... It was yeah. so fast. That's why the prep was so important. Um, but when you, you know, like, when you have somebody like Christopher Nolan directing the movie, it's just a different, it's a different level. I, I, I can't really overemphasize how fucking brilliant the man is. <laughs> like, he is, he's just, just next level. So we all knew that it was this outrageously fast schedule, and we had like, w like we were working crazy hours and and and, and a crazy speed, but it never felt f f um, rushed within the scenes, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Um, and I, I just leant very heavily on him because the script came from his imagination. I leant very heavily on him in terms of where we were, at what time timeline, and where in the story we were. And um, I kind of also I knew the script, I knew it all. You know, which I'd, I've never done before, um, which was to kind of know it inside out, um, because he also gets ahead. Like he, every single film that he's ever made, he's brought in under budget and ahead of schedule. <laughs> So, so if he can do it, so like you'd be doing scenes, and yeah. then all of a sudden next week's work comes into this week because he's so fast. 
but I, I, but I must emphasize that during the the actual work, you feel like you've all the time in the world, and yeah. you never ever leave a um, you never leave a scene feeling like oh, I mean, we could we didn't get it, yeah. you know, we didn't get it, we have, and I never felt that. So it's kind of remarkable. 